Alrighty, so in today's video, we're gonna determine the differences between today's leading brand toilet papers to find out which one is the softest and which one has the best texture and who deserves your asshole. Stick around. What's good guys, Ken here. You're watching Original Dobo. And today I wanna to start off with a couple of tips that will definitely help you from being depressed while you have your newfound solo time. So being a good pilot is more than just flying. You gotta be able to hone those skill sets and do some things to prep to be better at your craft. And to start off with, you need to learn to clean your gear. So our gear is exposed to a lot of different elements and sometimes it's exposed to other pilots. And what I would recommend doing first is uh, taking like a alcohol wipe and cleaning down your drone. Now this is a brand new drone that was just sent to me from DJI, it's a Mavic 2 Pro. And I actually wiped this thing down entirely. Even though it was shipped to me from Texas, I still went ahead, did my due diligence and wiped it down. Batteries included, my controller is always a hot spot for germs. Just give it a wipe down every once in a while, that will help you prevent any sort of bacteria from festering on there. All right, so while we're flying, the second thing you can do is to fly solo. There's no problem in flying solo. I get it, there's a lot of fun in flying in a group, but as of right now, it's probably not a good idea to be around a lot of different people. I know when I go up to New York, I typically fly in large groups, and that's probably not happening as frequent now. But with that being said, there's no harm in flying by yourself. I do it all the time. I get it, it can be boring sometimes, but if you're not used to flying by yourself, you should definitely give it a try. It can help you step outside of your comfort zone and push you to make decisions that maybe you wouldn't make if you were in a group. I like to fly by myself a lot of times as well because I can go at my own pace, I can slow down, I can build shot list, and it can help me build a video to actually edit. And that's sometimes hard when you're in a group because you can't always dictate what you're going to do next. You're sort of at the group's mercy. So flying solo would be my second tip. Now the third tip shouldn't come as much of a shock and it's to practice your editing. Now, a lot of times what I will do is if I wanna make a big change in my workflow, I start practicing. I take all of my test clips, take everything that I've gathered over the past couple of weeks and I put it into a folder so I can practice with before I actually do videos. Even these videos that you see right here, it takes me forever to set up the shots and to practice to make sure my color's good, my white balance is good, and how my angles and composition will be composed before I actually start filming and before you all ever see it. It's something that you should be doing the same thing with your drones. Take those shots that you've put in uh, the hard work and practice on, bring them back to your editor and keep working with it and try new things within your edit to find something that you like and something that works for you specifically. It's something super simple and it can really pass a lot of time. When I start practicing editing, it takes me hours. I actually get lost. I always get asked, how do you do all this? And it's because I never sleep. Or if you ask my wife, she'll tell you I spend hours in the office just practicing and going through basic edits. And sometimes I'm in here for three, four hours after I'm even done with work, just practicing on my edits. Alrighty, so bringing up my last tip, and this is not really one that you can necessarily have much control over, but a lot of us do fly and a lot of us are going to still try to carry out business as usual, and things are going to happen to our gear throughout this whole ordeal. And one of the things you're going to find yourself dealing with is support teams. And what I would ask is to remember that support teams are people just like us. They're gonna be going through the same situations. They have to go to work, they have to survive, and be patient with them. Remember that a lot of things that a lot of these companies are going to be going through are beyond their control. So just recently, I had to warranty out some batteries with Autel. I called into Autel, I think it was a Saturday, and I was just actually looking to leave a voicemail with them. I wasn't actually expecting to talk to anybody, and lo and behold, Alejandro was there and took the call. I explained to him the situation on the batteries. Didn't know who I was until I actually sent the email, but even before I told him, he was like, yeah, it's pretty common, we'll go ahead and get you um, some batteries you know, sent out. And before I hung up the phone call with him, I told him that I wasn't in any immediate rush, and that just take your time, it's, it's not of an utmost uh, importance. 
And if there's one thing that I can stress to you that, yeah, we all love the flyer drones. It sucks when things break. Trust me, it really sucks. But there's nothing more important than human health and taking care of yourself first because at the end of the day, all of our drones, all of our toys will still be there, but we need to protect ourselves first and be vigilant. So if we can do that and be good humans, I think it makes a lot more sense. So be patient and kind to the support people and to the sales associates you're working with, whether it be DJI, Autel, even Unique, you gotta, you gotta include them, you know, they're human too. Doesn't matter, just be thoughtful when you are talking with them on the phone, be patient and calm, even though it's a sort of a touch and go situation and maybe it's not your fault that the product wrecked, but just be thoughtful. So there you go. And uh, in no time, if you follow some of these tips and practice and hone in your skills, you can either A, be starting a YouTube channel, get your social media accounts up to date. Uh, if you're building a website, take the time to go through that and really hone it in, especially if you have an aerial website like I did. I took some time and put some added effort into cleaning up my website. So when all this is said and done, I'm ready to go and I'm making good use of a pretty crappy situation. Anyways, I just wanted to bring some sort of lighthearted vibe to all this. I know it sucks. Trust me, it's, it's scary. But everything's going to always work out. It always does. And uh, if you're in the drone community, you're already no stranger to adversity. Stay original, be safe, and be kind to somebody today. See you next time.